putting all your eggs in a single basket normally is not a good idea. So when I mentioned the supply chain issue, so major companies and services are affected. Besides Microsoft's own products, significant brands include Starbucks. Hey, Starbucks is both a Microsoft and AWS customer. Uh, Costco, Kroger, Alaskan Airlines, and more experience interruptions in their websites and apps. Uh, many users reported trouble logging in, making purchases, even checking in for flights. So normal problems and disruption and dependencies on the cloud providers, you know, causes a cascading effect. You got to remember if there's a single component on any of these applications that these businesses are running, that's running on the Microsoft infrastructure, running on the AWS infrastructure, and those things stop running, that single component not running could take down the entire system. The application is going to fail to pr proceed. And we, you know, all of, uh, you know, understood how applications exist and are built and deployed and things like that. And there are many different components to them, but they're all interdependent one to another. And we're putting some components on a public cloud provider and that public cloud provider ceases to operate, the whole thing goes down. And unless you uh, put in some redundancy, unless you put in some business continuity, disaster recovery, failover capabilities, which in many instances, if many of these applications, like we saw with the AWS outage last week, are going to cost you, uh, you know, $10 million an hour, I was quoted from somebody, then that's worth it <laughs> to, to put those redundancies in there. And even redundancies across cloud providers. So in other words, if you want to use only public cloud providers, you know, that's your thing, then make sure you're investing in two different public cloud brands, Microsoft and AWS. Putting all your eggs in a single basket normally is not a good idea. It's just going to bring too much risk.